Hello and welcome back to PHP Basics. My name is Sean. Today I'm going to show you the simplest way to upload files to your server via PHP. Uh, before we get started, let's take a look at my directory here. So I have a directory called Upload with my index page and then I have a folder called Uploads. This is where we're going to be storing uh, the uploads from our page. Okay, so to get started, let's go ahead and take care of the form. Now most of this is pretty standard. The action, since we're using the same page, is just going to equal nothing. The method is going to equal post. And then we have a new property. It's called ink type. The ink type is a multi-part slash form hyphen data. And essentially what that does is it just tells the form how to process the files that we are going to be submitting. Uh, Multi-part, I believe, means that it's going to process our upload or our attachment as an array. And I'll get more into that in just a minute. So to start off, we're going to create an input type. It's going to equal file. Let's give it a name called file for now. Let's do a paragraph break and then we'll put our submit button. Let's just submit type. And the name will just be submit. Alright, so if we take a look at this, this is what we've got so far. We click on choose file, and we choose a file, and then we hit submit. Okay, so now to, into the uh, PHP portion of this, the first thing we want to do, as usual, is check to make sure that the form has been submitted. So we'll say if is set. Submits. All right, so the first thing that we want to do is grab the data from the file that we've attached. So like I said earlier, whenever you attach a form or attach a file to a form and upload it, it creates an array. And the array contains things like the name of the file, the type of the file, the size, um, and things like that. So first we'll just have the file name and it's going to equal, oops, I'm sorry. File. So essentially that's just the name of our file down here. And then we're going to have another set of brackets with name, which contains the name attribute. Now there are, I believe, five different uh, attributes to this. One of them is an error attribute which returns a boolean 0 or 1. We don't really need to get into that right now. So we'll go ahead and get the size. We'll get the file type. And then we're also going to have the temporary location. Um, common practice is just tmp underscore name which is the exact uh, name and the way that this works, let me back up here just a little bit. Under XAMPP, you've got this TMP folder. This is where it stores your temporary files. Um, and then you will later move that. So if we were to echo out file name, let's see here, name, file size, Uh, let's see, file type. And the temporary name. That should show us all of this information. So let's go and select a file and upload it. So we have test.jpg, the size is zero, this image slash JPEG shows us what type of file it is. And then this is the location or the temporary location of that file. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that. All right, so the next thing we want to do is set the um, final directory. Let's we'll say dir equals uploads, which is the name of the file, forward slash. 
All right, so now what we can do is we can check some of the requirements. What kind of files can we upload? Does it have to be a particular size? So we're going to check the requirements. And we'll just say if file type, which is this guy up here, does not equal image JPEG, then we can echo out only JPG images allowed. We can also do else if file size is greater than 200K, which would be kilobytes, naturally. We can echo your file is too large. Else, we'll do move uploaded file. And this is a global function within PHP. And it contains two parameters. The first one is the temporary name. And the second one is the final location that you want it to go. For us, it's going to be the directory. And let's just tack on the file name. And then we'll echo upload complete. So let me look over my syntax here real quick, make sure I haven't left out any semicolons, which I always seem to do. All right, so let's go ahead and refresh this. And I'm going to choose this PDF document here and hit submit. And it's going to say that only JPEG images are allowed. So let me go back and select our test JPEG. It's going to upload that and hit submit. And now it shows upload complete. If we go back into our directory, we now see this test.jpg file. Um, so that's basically, like I said, the simplest way to upload files to your website uh, with some basic parameters. Now the next episode we're going to get into uh, multi-part uploads, uploading uh, multiple files at, at the same time. So. Um, if you guys have any questions, I'll try to butcher your answers as least or as least as, as least as possible. I'll try to answer your questions is what I'm saying. Uh, as always, stay creative and I'll see you guys next time.